Hey guys, it's Di, and I am going to be doing a few projects around the house to get ready for winter. And the first one is organizing our downstairs closet, which is kind of in an entryway coming from the garage, so that it's more accessible to find kids, hats, gloves, scarves, and adult hats, gloves, scarves, and everything's a lot more organized. We just moved into this house last winter, and Natalie was still in the car seat at that point, so she had kind of a zip-up um, cover that went over the car seat, so I kind of got out of not really having to have a spot for her winter things last year because that cover just stayed on the car seat and that was mainly what we used. But obviously this year she's older so we're going to have double the hats, double the gloves, and double the coats in the closet. And right now this closet has kind of just been a catch-all for a lot of things. We don't have a utility closet downstairs on that level. So um, there's a lot of just random things you guys will see in the before just kind of stowed away in this closet. So my goal is to make it more organized so that I can quickly access whatever I'm looking for this winter, whether it be gloves in Bella's size, gloves in Natalie's size, um, my winter items, my husband's winter items, and then just generally kind of shape up the closet so that it's more functional overall. So that is my goal, and I will go ahead and show you the before and then show you while I'm working on the project and hopefully have an after where you can see a difference. So let's see what it looks like. So this is my problem area, and you can see that this little kind of entryway, there's no real kind of place to put a bench or anything in here. So this closet right in front of me is basically the only storage that we have on the downstairs level. And this is what it currently looks like. It is a jumbled mess. On the floor, you can see that there's all kinds of stuff just thrown in there. And then on the top, there's utility items that aren't really organized and some aren't being used. Some of those can be moved out of here. I just have all of the kids coats here in the front which obviously are easily distinguishable because they're on pink hangers but then also because they're quite a bit shorter than ours and then it's my coats and then my husband's coats um, and he's also got motorcycle jackets in there for this um, fall season as well. And then this Swiffer and broom need to stay in there because I do use those daily for kind of spot cleaning in the kitchen. And then they're just random odds and ends. Right now you can see my organization, organization system is not all that great. I just have um, a bunch of scarves and hats and mittens just thrown down inside this basket. So that is not going to work. At our previous house in Michigan, we had kind of a built-in organizer in our entryway closet which was in our front entry which you went past either coming in from the front door or coming in from the garage so um, I'm going to try to kind of simulate that feel of having an organizer in the closet and I'm hoping that by having a separate basket for all the different sizes that will kind of make things more accessible so this is the before and I'm really, really hoping that you guys see a difference in the after. <laughs> so this is my cheap and easy solution for storage in the closet. And it's from Target. It was fairly inexpensive. It was only like $35. And also, I believe it was fairly easy to put together. I did have my husband put it together for me um, because I'm not exactly good with this kind of, like, pressed wood word stuff because I usually rip through it with the screw. But anyhow, um, it came together quite nicely. And you can see that it has six cubes and I'm going to go ahead and be turning it on its side so it's up and down in the closet. There's going to be four cubes, one for each of us, one for mommy, one for daddy, one for Bella, and one for Natalie. And then on the bottom I'm hoping I have two extra cubes open so that we have extra places for shoes and boots this winter. So that is my plan so I'm going to go ahead and clean the closet out. Okay, everything's pulled out of the closet in the bottom, so I'm going to try to fit the organizer in there now. I don't know if this vacuum is going to fit back in there. This isn't actually the one that we use all the time. Our upright Dyson is actually the one that I use the most. So I may try to find that one, um, a place in this closet, and then stick this canister Dyson downstairs in the basement or upstairs somewhere. Um, this is the basket of all the things that need to get sorted to go into different baskets, um, depending on who's going to use them. And then this was just random shipping stuff that was in there. And then we have some gym bags and that sort of thing that need to go back in there.
Alright, so this is my finished project and some of these cones will thin out a little bit. Some of the motorcycle jackets don't need to be in there because they won't be used in the fall and winter. And also some of the size of kids jackets won't be used this fall and winter so those will get thinned out a little bit. I was able to reduce the amount of things up here quite a bit and all the cleaning supplies fit in that old basket that I was using um, right up here. And then this is kind of like the biggest part of the project. Down here I was able to get our upright Dyson to go in the closet, which was a big deal because we didn't have a spot that it fit in the house before. And then um, we put the container organizer upright here. And everyone has their own bin now. So you can see that I made these labels last night. So Daddy has his bin there. There's Mommy's bin. Um, there's Isabella's. And there's Natalie's, and then there's a place at the bottom for shoes, and then that's my uh, gym bag that has dance shoes in it, which could also go here at the top. Um, and then this is also the kids' gym bag for going to childcare at the gym. So we each have our own spot to put our winter scarves and gloves here down inside, and it should hopefully make everything accessible um, for our most used. Hat and gloves can go on the top, and then all of our extras in the bottom, so that way it is easily um, recognizable whose is what, and hopefully everything can go back in there. So hopefully this has given you some ideas. This was actually a project I've been looking forward to because I knew that it was going to be kind of different this winter having so many different hats and gloves and scarves and everything so I'm really pleased with how it turned out and the whole project cost me under $50 it was really inexpensive because I used the basket up here that I already had and then down here the organizer um, was about $35 I believe at Target um, the baskets were in a two-pack I believe and also on sale so they cost me about $15 or $12 for all of those and then these little tags I just made these out of scrapbooking materials that I already had in the house so I, those didn't really cost me anything they're just like a cardboard material glued on top of each other with a little ribbon on the top and scrapbooking stickers. So it was a pretty easy project and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.